Hey, we're going here with the weekly update for August 14th of 2016. And this Let's Play is brought to you by MunchGames.ca. I'm just joking. I have to always say that. No, the weekly update is brought to you by MunchGames.ca. Um, oh no, the Let's Play is also brought to you by MunchGames.ca. By the way, check out the MunchGames on YouTube channel. Yeah, my surface pen. Um, so yeah, right now, no one's at home, just me. It's a Sunday morning. You know, that song from No Doubt is starting to come, come out, you know, Sunday morning by No Doubt. Tragic Kingdom album, 1990s. Check it out. You know, Gordon Stefani. Anyway. Um, so, I didn't put up any videos on Friday or Saturday. I was going to, but I decided to take a break. Uh, the only video you're going to see today is, of course, this one. Um, but I did record on Friday night a bunch of videos. Well, I got like three... Final Fantasy X, I have a Ocarina of Time done. Today I'm going to edit that Ocarina of Time for tomorrow because I never put up an Ocarina of Time last week, to my knowledge. Um, and then I had to also work on the Mario hack today. Um, yeah. Yesterday I hung up with Cole and Colette. Uh, actually, yesterday I went for like an hour and a half walk, got in a lot of exercise from that. Went and got my hair cut. It's really cut short now. Um, so yeah, I don't like it like that for now. Uh, then I hung out with Cole and Colette. Uh, Bongo wasn't in town, so we didn't get to do what I was hoping. Or what me and Cole and ba uh, me Cole and Colette were hoping uh, was to finish Mario Party Three recording. Unfortunately, Bongo wasn't in town. He had a high school reunion, which I think he mentioned in a Donkey Kong Country uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze video and probably on Facebook or Twitter. Um, but yeah, he was gone to that, and I think he's back today or something, so, couldn't get any, and he wasn't in town, so that's fine. Uh, so I just hung out with Cole and Colette, we didn't record anything. Uh, me and Cole were thinking of recording, uh, Double Dragon 2 for much games, because we already did Double Dragon, but we decided not to after. Uh, instead, me and him went to the Village Mall after supper, and we did some pricing on, like, internet and things like that, because, uh, he was thinking of, he's been getting really bad signal, Wi-Fi signals in his apartment for the internet. So, he was thinking of getting upgrade and getting the internet, a new internet provider or maybe a new modem. Uh, he's going to try moving the modem around first. So, he's going to try all the possible options, but he's trying to fix that. Funny thing is, when I was at his house, my phone was connected to the internet and my laptop and it never dropped. His laptop, he said, drops all the time. Um... A lot, lots of times, so it might be something wrong with his laptop, or it's just where he's got the laptop located. I don't know. Uh, without Charlie knew. Um, I also hung out with how his son was there, we visited his parents, things like that. Um, my other friend, she, showed, she was actually there when me and Cole got to the house, because she's also friends with Cole and Colette. Actually, I met her through Cole and Colette. Um, so... Yeah, I picked up Bayonetta 2, so now this Bayonetta 2 version I have, bought from EBA for like 40 bucks, brand new by the way, uh, doesn't come with Bayonetta 1, doesn't come with the CD for Bayonetta 1, or come with the download code for Bayonetta 1, but that's okay because I already own Bayonetta 1, but then Cole was thinking, hmm, jeez, you know, if you had to buy the other one, you would have had two copies of Bayonetta, I was like, yeah, I would have had two copies of the original Bayonetta, and that could just sold the Original copy, or giving it to him, or kill it, because he doesn't have the game, but me and Bongo do. Um, but, yeah. Um, and, really, and there was a copy, a used copy with it, apparently. The salesperson said they had none, and then the other salesperson said they did. And the, other, the second salesperson who said they did proved the other guy who was serving me at EV Games wrong. But, yeah, they did have him. Um, but I just bought the original, so um, I didn't buy the one that came up both games. Uh, to have my time back, I probably showed up because then I could have just brought up the original uh, Bayonetta next week to Cole and give him, just get, and give it to him, him and Cole, and then they would have Bayonetta 1, but I would still have Bayonetta 1 and 2, but I didn't do it that way. So, yeah. I also got I Am Citizen, I think it's how you pronounce it, on Steam last night. Um, so, I may. Oh, I'm going to definitely LP that. I don't know when. It might be on much. I might do it for much games. Because uh, I'm doing going to be doing Bayonetta on uh, my channel. 
Um, I'm also thinking of doing Donkey Kong Country 3 for much games. Because it's like the only one in the original series that I've done. Like Donkey Kong Country is done. That was done by Bonga and Co. Donkey Kong Country 2 is done by Old World Gamer. Donkey Kong Country 3 hasn't been done yet. Um, so I may do Donkey Kong Country 3. And then I get into Iron Sensen. Which is a JRPG. Japanese RPG. It's in English. It's only available, I think, on the PlayStation 4 Network and Steam. You can't even get a physical disc of it, as far as I know. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I, I had got it last night when I was at Colts' uh, house. So, um, I'm probably going to try that, like, in the next 20 minutes or so. I have to do this video and upload it. Because uh, my laptop's over there. And I'm probably just going to give it a try. And see how it uh, plays. Um, but yeah, I might do that in much games. Um, but yeah, that's something I'm going to find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so after I finish Ocarina of Time and the Mario Hack, uh, actually Mario Hack is pretty much almost done, it's, uh, I'm in World 8, what was it, World, yeah, World 8, um, I'm probably going to record a couple of videos that I didn't quite finish it today, um, once that's done, then I'll only have Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy XIII, and Ocarina of Time. Final Fantasy XIII is still going to be on a hiatus, uh, even after the Mario hack's done. So I'm probably just going to work on Ocarina of Time, Final Fantasy X, and I might bring in uh, I Am Setsu or uh, Bayonetta. Um, and then once Ocarina of Time's done, then I'll get back into... Uh, Final Fantasy 13. I'm taking a higher risk on Final Fantasy. I kind of lost interest in the game for a bit. I do like the game, but I'm kind of losing a little bit of interest in playing it. I'm not canceling it. It's gonna, it's gonna be finished. Um, but I'm just more focused now on Final Fantasy 10, Ocarina of Time, Classic Mario World, which is the Mario hack I'm doing, and then I kind of want to get in the Bayonetta or Iron Sensu. So, uh, which other one I do on my channel out of Bayonetta and Iron Sensu, the other one will be done on much games probably. Well, Bayonetta is kind of a little bit different when it comes to much games. Uh, there's been a couple of people on much games that are expressing interest in doing the game, so uh, I'll have to speak with them and see who's actually going to do it. And if one another person wants to do it, I'll, I'll let them do it on their channel, and I'll do it on my channel. If I don't do it on much games, then Iron Sensu will be done on much games, or Donkey Kong Country 3. Um, I may just do Donkey Kong Country 3. Uh, because that's going to be a shorter project. And then I can get into Iron Sensu. So, anyway. Uh, I'll find that out hopefully later today. And then next week or the week after. Once I get more information, I'll let you guys know. Um, I kind of wild cadaver last night. I was, went to KFC with Cole and Colette. Actually, me and Colette went in there. Cole stayed outside because he was just waiting in the car. And when I was waiting for my food, I was already at the purchase in it. And I was at the end with my drink on the counter. I can't say waiting. I just happened to whip out Pokemon Go. And they got they have free Wi-Fi, so I joined, went under the Wi-Fi, and it said there was a wild cadaver in the area. And I was just like, and literally as soon as it popped up, while on the corner, like in the sightings, not twenty seconds later, a cadaver popped up, and the cadaver popped up. It had like two hundred and eighty CP or something, and I threw one Pokeball, not a great ball, one Pokeball. And caught it instantly. And I was doing that. And Buddy saw the guy who was putting the food out. Uh, said, what level are you? And I didn't understand what his question was at first. And then I realized he was looking at my phone. And I said, oh, what level in Pokemon? And I was like level 13 or something. And I found out after that he's level 20. And then I told him it was a wild cadaver in the, in here on the counter at KFC. He's like, there, and he was like, there is? Because like, I don't think he had cadaver. And I'm like, yeah. And I said, I just caught it instantly. I said, I threw a Pokeball, instantly got him. And he said, Great Ball or Pokeball? No, I said, Pokeball. And the CP was almost 300. And he's like, geez. I think he was kind of wishing he was on break or wasn't working so he could go catch it, but I was at to catch it. Uh, just because I caught it doesn't mean he can't catch it. They spawn in certain locations for a while. Anybody can catch them. You can have like 100 people and they can all catch it all at once. But they only spam and spawn for so long. Uh, but yeah, well, I could have one. So I still had an Abra, which is two candies away from evolving. Now I don't have to really, I'm going to still evolve that Abra when I can. Um, so that I can just get the experience points for it. And experience points to level up. But really, I don't need to. 
because I can just convert that and get up to 100 candy and get Alakazam, which is my next big goal when it comes to Kadabra. Anyway, there's a little bit of information on Pokemon Go. So I'm going to go and probably try out Iron Sensu and probably record Ocarina. Uh, not record Ocarina. Well, I'm probably going to record another Ocarina time later, but I'm going to edit it first. And uh, the one that's going to go up tomorrow. And then I'm probably going to record the Mario hack today. Uh, and then I may go out and play Pokemon Go. But uh, I probably won't. I'll probably walk out today. You know, I did get a nice... Yesterday, the time I got a PSH, the time I left calls last night, my Fitbit was like, got nuts, my Google Fit. With like how many miles I walked and steps and that. So I find that I can exercise, like fitness balls and punching bags and that. But I find sometimes just a nice walk, probably a couple of, couple of times a day or a couple of times a week. You get out for like a 20 minute walk or a half hour walk. And you can, basically, you know, if you get out for an hour to two hours a week of a walk, a nice walk, it can have really good health benefits. And that's been proven. But uh, yeah. So anyway. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week in a weekly update I'm going to go get a drink first because I'm getting thirsty too uh, so yeah see y'all next week